Hello everybody, you're in for a treat for this tutorial. Um, this tutorial we're going to be learning about screen state. And basically what that is, is that we'll be able to make the title screen, our gameplay screen, and the game over screen. And um, this is very useful in games. There's many ways to go about it, but I will show you a very easy way that shouldn't be too hard for you guys to learn. But first of all, there was an error in our enemy class that we had to fix first of all. So let's go to enemy.h and make a get function um, to get the level. And in enemy.cpp, you just return the level. And in our collision.cpp, uh, when it says ep collision, so let's scroll down to ep collision or scroll up. Okay, where is it? Yeah. Uh, you have to add the map. Uh, um, the map class with the ampersand, the reference, whatever. And um, before the collision code, you have to put if the level, the enemy's level, is equal to the map level, and then you check for collision. Because if you check for collision, like all the enemies are gonna be on the map basically, but they're just not visible on other levels right so if you we, we do this to check if the actual enemies on the map and if the enemies on the map then you can do collision if the enemies not on the map then obviously you don't do collision without this right here even when you go to level 2 and level 3 and stuff you could still collide with the enemy right and your level will still go down even though you can't see the enemy so make sure you add this code Okay, so now let's look at the new class I created, Screen Manager H and Screen Manager .cpp. This is what we're going to be using to manage our screens. Now we call them screens because you basically it's a screen. Each um, it's called screen state because it's the state which the screen is currently in. So when we start the game, let me show you what I'm trying to sh um explain. So this state is called the title screen state. So it has play game and end game. So when I click Z to play the game, I'm in the gameplay. I'm in the gameplay state, right? And once I die, so let me hit the enemy. So once I die, I'm in the game over screen state. And I press Z and I'm back to the play game state again. And then we'll add in like save game and load game after if you want to add that. I'll show you how to do those features after. It's fairly easy. But anyways, uh, so you, you might be wondering how we do this. So this is not an object oriented way about going around this, but uh, this is an easy way. So remember in our main when we had all these include functions there, we'll take away all the classes that you included and include them into your screen manager dot h right including the string and the allegro dot h libraries so now in our screen manager class in the private section we're gonna have three screens the title screen the, uh, the game screen and the game over screen so in the update uh, first we're gonna put an update title screen and then the parameters is bool and done because that's our variable that exists the game loop and you'll see why we need this after and to draw the title screen to draw the background and to draw the text update our game screen so our characters and our collision and all that stuff and to draw everything to the screen and to our game over screen to update it and to draw it and we have a menu counter and the menu item t uh, with an array of two and we have two bitmaps I, if you really want the bitmaps, you can inbox me and I'll send you a link to where to download them from or I might put one in the description. So anyways, we uh, I'm going a bit fast but you'll see this uh, you'll see this explained later. So uh, before you declare these instances in the, um, in the main.cpp, we'll take them and put them in here. So declare everything in here. And more about this later. So in the public section, we have something called an enum. What an enum is is basically it's like it's just, it's like a stack of certain values that you can store. So title is just a name. It's like a variable name that stores the value zero. Okay, game is like a variable name stores the value one. Game over is like a value that stores um like a variable that stores the value two. But they're all in the screen state enum. 
So basically, there it's like when you have a class, and when you access like um key pressed in the class, right? It's to that um class specifically only, and this is um relevant to the screen state only, and it's easy to declare it because they automatically give you numerical values like this, right? So let us scroll down a bit more, and now we have to declare a our screen state just like we make it we have to make an instant of our screen state just like we make an instant of our class so I named it game state just like we're declaring a variable we have our constructor and our destructor our init our update and our draw with the following parameters in there and that's it so let's go let me check how much time I have okay so let's go to screen manager cpp and uh, this is a lot of code, so I might I might take like two videos to finish. It. Anyways, uh, in our init function, we set our game state equal to title. Okay, because when we start the game, we want to go to the title screen. And if you don't remember, the game state is a part of the screen state enum, and we just did it equal to title. So basically, game state is equal to zero, which is referring to the title. Now you're wondering why we're doing this. You'll see later. So I put a menu counter equal to zero. This is what we're just gonna be doing to scroll through the play game and the end game, right? And key press and last key press is equal to false. Uh, you're not gonna need it. I think I think you're just gonna need the key press. The key pressed. Basically, the last key press then key press is if you wanna have like, uh, if you wanna have like a single input. You know what I mean? If you don't wanna have just uh, multiple inputs because when we do a movement in a game we check if the key is down right and then it'll do continuous movement while you're pressing that key but what if we just want to do a single key press one at a time because if you're scrolling through a menu you don't want to have to hold it down like it'll, it'll skip past some things and be annoying through a menu so when you're scrolling through a menu you want to have single key presses but since we only have two things right now now and like our item um uh, like when we're scrolling to our items, we don't really need that right now. But you will, I'll explain that when we have more items, um, in our main menu. So, anyways, uh, right now, right here, we're just loading the backgrounds, right, and we're just doing all the net functions that we did before. And in our update, now you should have learned about the switch, um, the switch case statement. They're just like if statements, but they make it a lot easier. They're not like they're like they're like if statements in a sense, but in some situations they can be better. In some situations they can be worse. Okay, well in this situation it's better to use a switch case statement instead of doing if else if else if else whatever all the stuff right. So what we do is put switch and the the screen state name. So we named it game state. Remember. So I'm saying case title. So if the game state is equal to title, then we run the update title screen function. And remember, you have to put break there. And if the game state is equal to the game, um, equal to game, then we run the game screen update. And then if it's equal to the game over, then we update the game over screen. And then we do a switch case statement for the draw function as well. So if it's set to title, we draw the title screen. Set the game, we draw the game screen. And if it's set to game over, we draw the game over screen. Simple enough. And if you don't know about switch case statements, you should learn to go back to your basics. Okay, so now let's look at the functions that we've um that we're gonna create. So we have uh so in our update title screen, I basically say if if you press down, you add one to menu um counter. If you press up, you subtract from menu counter. And if you press Z, and the menu counter is equal to zero, so let's look uh right here. So menu item is equal to zero, right? And our menu counter is just gonna be scrolling through our two different menu items, right? So if menu item is equal to play game, so if menu counter is equal to zero, then it's gonna be an equal to play game and if menu count is equal to one then it's going to be equal to end game right and I'm not sure if I showed you the menu item when we declared it yeah but it's right here string menu item that's why I need to include string or whatever uh so let's go let's scroll back down